Some apples, please. This happened a very long time ago in England. There was a little old woman who lived in a little cottage in a village. One day, she wanted to eat an apple pie. The more she thought about it, the more she wanted to eat an apple pie made of juicy red apples. But she had no apples. She had a pear tree full of ripe yellow pears and a plum tree full of juicy red plums. But how can one make an apple pie with pears or plums? And the old woman longed for an apple pie. I know what to do. I'll take some of my plums to the market and get apples in exchange for them. She said to herself. So she set off with the plums in a basket on her arm. As she walked along the road, she heard a lot of cackling and quacking. She peeped over the hedge and saw a young woman trying to herd a flock of hens, ducks, and geese. The young woman looked up. "Hello," she said. "Aren't these birds noisy?" Then the young woman and the old woman started talking like old friends. The old woman showed the young woman the plums and said how much she wanted to eat an apple pie. "Oh," said the young woman, "my husband wants to have plum jam." and i have no plums at all on the farm i would love some but i have no apples to give you i can only give you a bag of feathers in exchange for them well said the old woman looking at the juicy red plums i suppose at least one of us will have our wish so she gave the plums to the young woman and took the bag of feathers and put it into her basket at least the feathers were lighter to carry She set off once more for the market, hoping that she would get some apples for the feathers. The road was long, and she walked until she came to another farm. The most delicious smells came floating out of the kitchen window of the farmhouse. The old woman stopped at the gate to smell the fresh bread and cakes. As she stood there, she heard a man and a woman quarrelling loudly. It is best to stuff a pillow with straw. said the woman in an angry voice i don't think so cotton is best isn't it much softer said the man in an angrier voice hello said the old woman the woman and the man turned to look at her oh would you please help us settle this is it better to stuff a pillow with straw or cotton we can't agree said the woman oh neither said the old woman I would stuff it with feathers. Feathers make the best pillows. Oh, oh but, but we, we don't, don't have, have feathers, feathers," said the couple sadly. "That is hardly a problem," answered the old woman quickly, and she gave the bag of feathers to them. "Oh, oh thank, thank you," said the couple. "I would love to have some apples in return," said the old woman. We have no apples, but here is some freshly baked bread," said the man, and gave her two large loaves fresh from the oven. "Well, at least I can have bread and soup for dinner," said the old woman. "Even if I didn't get any apples, I did stop the quarrel." Once again, she came onto the main road and headed for the market. She came to a cottage, and there she saw a mother. and her children in front of the cottage door they looked very sad what's the matter asked the old woman why are you so sad on such a bright and lovely day my children have not eaten all day and there is no money for food said the mother how can i keep this bread when they are all so hungry thought the old woman she took out the two fresh loaves and gave them to the mother How kind of you. I'm sorry that we have nothing to give you in return, but maybe you'd like this little puppy. He would be a wonderful companion for you. The mother said. The old woman wasn't so sure that she wanted the puppy, but she did not want to say no to the mother. So she picked up the puppy, put him into the basket and thanked the mother. Then she started off again. What an odd and funny day it has been. Thought the old woman. as she walked along who knows i might still get my apples 
Then, as she turned a corner, she saw an apple tree full of ripe red apples in the garden of a cottage very much like her own. An old man sat outside. What a beautiful apple tree! exclaimed the old woman. You can make such a nice apple pie with those apples. Hmm, replied the old man sadly. Of what use is an apple tree or apples to a lonely old man like me? Well, I think I know the answer to that. Would you like this little doggy in return for a basket of apples from your tree? He would be good company, said the old woman, and she let the puppy out of her basket. The puppy ran to the old man and started rolling about his feet. The man smiled and picked the puppy up in his arms. And that's how the old woman got apples for the plums she had taken from her tree. She went home, baked a lovely apple pie, and enjoyed it for dinner.